Let's have a little bit more deeper look into session controls that Safeguard offers. One of the key features of Safeguard is the session recording and of course the session monitoring. So you cannot even record session and store it away for later use or for later review. You can even watch somebody in a live session. And I'm going to show you how this will look like. So in my configuration it is very much not a very practical one because I will do everything in, as one person. Usually you should have a couple of different persons doing this, but it's just a demo to show you how this would look like. So the first one we have to do is just issue a new request. And in this case, we're going to have a Windows session, as usual. And I have to adjust this a little bit because of my policies. And submit to... No, oh, there it is. OK. So it's just waiting for approval. It takes a little time. And I just have to approve it. So in this case, I'm going to start my browser. Let's go here to one of our nodes. Log in with the approver user. And now I see here as a pending request. Of course this is German. As you may notice from my accent, I'm German. And I have a browser setting in my language for Germany. So the browser is just uh, switching to German. but it's just the usual stuff. I just give it an OK. Here we go. OK. I have pressed a little, much, little bit much too often. So I have a little toast over there here as well. And I can now log off and switch back to my Windows client. And now the status has switched to available. That's fine. And now I can start running my session. So in this case, I'm just pressing the play button and I got my usual certificate warnings. We already know this from the other videos. And now my system will be available for me to see going on here. So let's make a little bit smaller. So I have a really active session. It takes a little time. As you know, my demo equipment is not the fastest one, but doesn't matter. In the meantime, I'm going to switch to this little icon that came in with the version 2 of the Safeguard software. And it's a little bit of a dashboard. And now it shows we have one open request and we have one session. Of course, you have to have the proper permissions to see this. Obviously, I have it. And now I can see what's going on here. And if I click on this little icon here or this, this little field here, I can see that I now have an open session to that desktop for the user, <laughs> myself of course, and it's a RDP type and it goes to iam.corp with the account SG1. So that is my open session. Now you see the session running here in the background. What I can do now is I can select this session and now these icons are getting active and I have here view the live session. This is something that is the monitoring and of course I can terminate a session if I see something happening in my screen that doesn't that I do not like I could terminate the session. So let's see what's going on here. Now I'm here logged in. Just move a little around here a little bit just to show something on the screen. There we go. And now I here my have my session and of course you can terminate session, just interrupt it. Or you can even go to revoke request because if you only terminate a session, the user still can log in again or can initiate the session again as long as the request is, val is valid. So in this case, just to show you, we're going to press this live view here. And now the system will open up the player for me a second time or for the monitoring user it must be it shouldn't be somebody different like me of course otherwise watching myself is not a good thing continue and let's wait until it got connected and now it has trying to connect and I can just click on the play button here and now I have pretty much the same stuff as I have here in my session and Let's move it here around a little bit and you can see that is it, it is now indicated as live. And if I do something here, you're going to see that the screen on the other side 
still reflects all the actions I'm taking here. Whatever, like using my browser, you, know, you see the browser opening, and so on and so on. And as I said, you can just terminate it here, just click on terminate, or you can just use the dashboard to do so. So if you just go here and terminate the session, you're going to say, okay, now the session will be terminated see the terminate has all been taken place and the session has been interrupted. As I said, said before, if I go back to my home page and I go to my open request and still valid request, I can simply just connect to it and I can continue working. And because I did not terminate the screen, it was just disconnected. So the terminate was really a disconnect in this case. Of course, it's not reflected here because it is a session of the old this is the live view of the old session so if I want to see what's going on here I just go back here click here and go to the live view again so I have my session here and the player will up or will open up here again and now I can see that I have my session here again to watch it okay in this case I'm going to close this here and keep this session open and if I just click select the session here again and now I will and I do not only do a termination of the session but a rework of the request if I click it here and revoke the request the session got interrupted as usual and of course the request here will be invalidated it takes a little time and now it has been revoked so I cannot use the access anymore